Yo, 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 it's the Dad Owl coming at you live with one last video. Yeah, things we're recording tonight did not go well. Eh, hey, two parts is better than nothing. We kicked off the night with a segment between, well, I guess I could call them the main event superstars for tonight's show. AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, Baron Corbin, Sami Zayn, none other than the Viper Randy Orton and Jinder Mahal. That's right, the Backlash opponents teamed up in a six-man tag in the main event of the evening, but I'll get to that when it's time. The first matchup of the night was Natalia versus Becky Lynch. And due to, uh, I don't want to call it outside ring interference, because it really wasn't, but due to a destruction outside the ring, yeah, Becky Lynch lost. Mm, it's messed up. Then, well, we cut just chilled out. Then the next thing you know, we're in the second matchup of the evening. Luke Hopper versus Eric Owen. And even though I think the ref was kind of, I guess I could say nearsighted? Yeah. Mm. You know, one, two, three. Rowan wins. Even though, yeah, I think the ref was just... Mm -mm. Because if I was, you know, if the shoulders are up, it's not a pin. And the ref was right there. I don't know. I don't know. Tonight it was just weak. Then we cut to backstage. Breezango, aka the fashion police. Ugh. It's such a segment. They, they, they want freaking paint. Paint on the floor. And they trailed it to two different locker rooms the Usos and the Ascension. Yeah, they walked in on the Ascension yelling at each other. I don't know why. I don't know. And when they closed the door and you know, trying to process, I guess, what the hell was happening. <sighs> well, Tyler Breeze said something that shouldn't have been said on my TV. Then, next thing you know, we're in a matchup between the four. When did this matchup even come into play? Then, from there, of course, Breezango wins. Out comes the Usos. And even... What happened is absolutely absurd. It's just what they said. They came out talking about, you know, waxing backs, shaving backs. Ugh. Like, okay, first of all, where was Shane O'Mac in all this? Where was Daniel Bryan in all this? And how the hell are these guys getting away with this? I mean, I'll admit, I say some say some crazy stuff. You know what? One, I'm Irish. Get over it. And two, we're in the 21st century. A lot of people say a lot worse things than me. Anyways. But, the, like, there's still some rules and boundaries. That stuff should not have been said. It should not have been allowed 
able to be said on TV. One, because it was live. Two, because it was seen all around the world. I mean, for Pete's sake, little kids watch the WWE. And, uh, and don't get me wrong, but that's just, that's not the stuff they should be hearing. Well, how do I put it? From there, we get to the main event of the evening. Yeah. It's gonna, it's just the weirdest thing. Jinder Mahal teamed up with Kevin Owens and Baron Corbin to face off against the team of Sami Zayn, Randy Orton, and AJ Styles. Now, that's not the weird part. The weird part, the weird part, is the fact that the Singh brothers actually were able to interfere and the ref did nothing about it. The weird part was how how the superstars just interacted in this match. Like for example, okay, get this. Sami Zayn flipped over the top rope, was going for a sunset flip. Which for those of you that don't know, a sunset flip is where you fly over your opponent. You take them and sort of like you lay them out on their backs with their shoulders on the mat. Doesn't, oh, doesn't really lead to a pinfall at all. I can't remember how many times it actually has. Sometimes people get lucky. Well, Sami Zayn went for that. But as soon as he was trying to drag Corbin down, I don't know if Kevin Owens was trying to make a tag or what. It looked like he was going after Sami Zayn. He didn't get in the ring. He didn't get in the ring and, you know, stomp on him or anything. But basically what he did was this. What the hell was that? Owens, what are you doing? Like, seriously, man. You're not going to get Sami Zayn if he's already over the top rope in the ring. You're not going to get him by reaching over to a different part of the ring. Seriously, you're not going to, like, Sam Kevin Owens standing on the, on the apron. I'm not going to get Sami Zayn if he's in the ring and I'm going like this on the apron. I'm not going to catch him that way. Are you kidding me? Impossible. Impossible. And due to outside ring interference, this one actually is outside ring interference because it's someone not being in the match messing with a superstar in the match. That, you know, so it technically qualifies. Anyways. How do I put it? The same brothers distracted Orton. Jinder Mahal managed to get his super kick in. When he does he do a super kick, I have no idea. Well, then it all breaks down. Sami Zayn hits Jinder Mahal with the blue thunder bomb. Kevin Owens takes out Sami Zayn. AJ Styles comes in. Beats the snot out of Kevin Owens. Baron Corbin takes out AJ Styles. I don't know how I don't know how it got to Kevin Owens and Randy Orton in the ring. Somehow it did. Randy Orton RKO's Kevin Owens. 
and then off of a distraction outside the ring. <clears throat> Jinder Mahal manages to hit some kind of like fall away slam and one, two, three. Jinder Mahal picks up the win for his team. Overall, it's, it, don't get me wrong, overall it was still a good show, but it was like absolutely insane. It was weird. Like, why was that able to happen? Half of that should not have happened. Whether it was what someone said or what someone did, that should not have happened at all. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. All I know is that tonight happened. Even though I had some technical issues, I wasn't able to get part three out. Or part four like I originally thought I was going to get. You know, technical issues. Two episodes are better than nothing. Alright? But it's like... And that's why I'm so stalled and puzzled right now. Because it's like... How? How did they get away with that? Just ignore the TV in the background. That's not the point. The point is, how did they get away with that? I don't know. I don't know. That, that that was that, that was it. That that was tonight's show. Again, overall good show, but absolutely insane, strange, weird. However you want to put it, a lot of the things that have been said and were done in that ring should not have been. I, again, I don't know what happened. Happened. It's over with. Move on. Which means I'm cutting it off here. Hopefully things go better. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next round. Adios, mi amigos.